Hello and welcome back. In this segment, I'm going to give you a little bit more learning theory. Don't worry, it won't be much. Um, I want you to think about two cooks and both of them have produced a wonderful cake. It's a chocolate cake, it's got a creamy filling, it's got strawberries, it looks wonderful, tastes fantastic. I'll stop now before I get uh, too hungry. But both of the cakes look the, look the same and taste the same. And you want to give a prize for the best cake maker. How do you do that? Both the cakes are the same. Well, I think you would ask the two cooks to produce the cake and see which of them could do it again. The way that we produce a finished product is just as important as the finished product itself. If I have a student produce some writing, but I don't know how she's produced the writing, then how can I help the student to improve next time in the process of what she's doing, not just the product? In a traditional course, you'll often hand in maybe a draft and then maybe the finished product of your writing. Using our blogs, our e-portfolios, you can show every step of the process to ensure you get the get best grade possible and you learn how to put together your chocolate cake step by step. I'm going to show you two examples of students showing their process. The first is a piece of student writing. And what I asked the student to do was to brainstorm the essay, brainstorm the ideas. And that's what she did. Now, she did this brainstorm on post-it notes and then took a photo and uploaded that to the portfolio. So, that's a simple way to show the process of planning an essay. Also during the course, I asked my students to do a piece of group writing, like a small research project. Let's have a look at what they produced. I asked this group to get together and brainstorm and discuss ideas, and that's what they did. But I also asked them to make minutes on the meeting. So I gave them a format, they sat, they discussed ideas, and then they wrote up their ideas in the form of minutes which they posted to their blog. So again, it's another case of seeing students actually producing the process, not just the final product. I can see that these guys sat together, I can see what they talked about, they then went on to do the brainstorm and the plan and the first draft and the references and all the rest. But here, quite clearly, even the speaking part of the process is there. So I hope in this segment I've convinced you of the importance of showing the process of your work and not just the final product. In the next segment, we'll have a look at another feature of your e-portfolios. See you in a second.